Hi everyone, this is Deekshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, we will gonna discuss why pods by default won't be scheduled or created on master node. So is it possible to create a pod or like schedule a pod on a master node? So answer for that question is yes, we can schedule or, or we can create a, a pod on master node. So before going into the demo, so let's see first few concepts. So there is a concept called as a node selector and a node affinity. So which are the properties of a pod so which attracts them onto your particular node. So let's say your requirement is like, let's say you want to uh, deploy or if you want to schedule a particular pod onto your particular node, so then it can be achievable in Kubernetes by using a properties called as like node selector and a node affinity. So we'll see a small uh, demo. So what I'll do is um, I'll go to my GitHub. So I've already written the code for that. Let me go there. So if you want to play with this demo, so you can go to my um, GitHub and then you can fork Kubernetes um, repository under that. So I have something called as node selector. So here uh, in this pod.yml, so I have something called as uh, a tag, which is node selector. So this is basic uh, pod.yml file. I have app version v1 and the kind is pod and the metadata so which is like name and uh, i've just named it as my python and if you see the specs so i have a container so the definition of that container so basically i have one container i'm using uh, dikshit sm uh, slash python web app as image and uh, i've used something called as node selector so here uh, so i before using this node selector you need to see uh, what are all the labels which are available on particular node okay so in this like uh, i have in this kubernetes cluster so what i'll do is i'll just execute cube ctl get nodes when you do this what are all the nodes and what are all the uh, uh when uh, the nodes which in uh, within a cluster it will give me and if, as you can see i have one master and two nodes which are ready in state okay now i have already applied one of the label i have created this particular label so to create a label so you need to use this particular command cube ctl label nodes and you need to give the node name so this command i have already executed on um, uh, my uh, basic ubuntu this node so that's why like when i do cube ctl describe node and then if i give a node name so then i'll be able to see uh, all the nodes which are related to that particular pod uh, if you see here see i have one label which is named uh, size is equals to medium so if you want to create a label on any node uh, which is size is equals to medium so i can go ahead and you can use this command and also you need to just replace your node name that's all okay so now uh, when uh, in a pod definition file when I have a node selector or a node affinity. So there is a slight difference between node selector uh, and affinity. So I'm not gonna discuss about that. So so these two properties are make, make to make sure a particular pod will be scheduled or uh, it is created on a particular node, okay? So let me copy this one. So what I'll do is um, I'll make sure uh, on my Kubernetes cluster, no pods are there. Cube CTO get pods. Uh, so there is a pod. Let me delete it. Yeah. Uh, Cube CTO delete pod and the pod name is ng inx. So let me delete that. And now, so what we will do is we will gonna clone this particular uh, repo onto my uh, cluster. Git clone, and I'm just cloning that particular repository. Okay, Kubernetes is already exists, so I guess I've cloned this particular repository previously. So as you can see now i have a folder called as node selector go inside that and when i do now cube ctl apply iphone f and pod.yml 
So a pod has been created. Cube CTO. Get all. Sorry, it's typo mistake. Get all. So as you can see, one uh, pod is up and running. So if you want to see on which node it has been scheduled, so then you can use iPhone O wide. Let me clear the screen before this. iPhone O wide. So when you do this one, so you'll be able to see on what node it has been deployed. As you can see, uh, it has deployed on basic Ubuntu. I'm making sure I'm uh, defining it in my pod.yml. So when in like on what machine it should be deployed. So, so if you want to deploy a particular pod on um, any of the machine, any of the node, so then you can use the concept called as node selector and node affinity. So by which you can make sure a pod will be deployed on a particular node. Okay, and there is uh, one more concept which is called a taint. So taints are uh, 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 opposite to node selector uh, affinity. So they allow a node to repel uh, a set of pods. So that means taints will be applied on a nodes. So these taints will be like uh, accepts the pods which as tolerations. So tolerations are applied on the pods and allow the pods to be scheduled onto the nodes with the matching times. So basically times will be applied on the nodes. So whichever the pods has tolerations uh, for a particular times, then it will be scheduled on that particular node. So I'll, I guess like now it will be a little confusing times and tolerations. So when we see a demo, like how we can uh, schedule or uh, create a pod on a master node, so then you might be clear about that one, okay? And uh, times and tolerations, as I mentioned, work together to ensure the parts are not scheduled on uh, inappropriate nodes, okay? So we will see this also, like uh, how we can uh, apply the tolerations on the pod and what is, uh, so how uh, master, or uh, whether master node has same taints or not. So we will see that. And uh, so taints, one or more uh, number of taints can be applied on the node. So this marks that node should not be accept it should not be accepting any parts that do not tolerate that things okay so now you might be having a little idea so there will be some times uh, so basically when i do cube cd uh, get nodes and when i do cube cd describe and then when i do a master kubernetes master okay i need to give the node And now you'll be able to see uh, the information about your master. So as you can see, so there is something called as um, a taints here. So as you can see, when you set up a cube radium setup, so by default on the master, a time will be applied. As you can see, node role of uh, Kubernetes.io master and no schedule is um, the taint which has been created by default on uh, your master. So that's why all the pods, like what are the pods you're gonna create will be scheduled or created on your nodes, not on the master. So if you want to create any pods on your master, so then definitely you should have a tolerations. So which uh, by which like we can uh, create a pod on this master node. Okay, so again, I have uh, already uh, written a pod.yml. So what you can do is you can go to my Kubernetes file again. So again, uh, uh, inside this, let me clear the screen. Let's uh, go inside taints and tolerations. Here I have uh, uh, two uh, YMLs. So let me go to GitHub and explain like what all the YMLs that I have. So here, if you see, uh, there is something called a spot iPhone normal dot YML. So this is, I've just created, like if you don't use uh, the uh, tolerations, so obviously it will be deployed in uh, nodes. So uh, let's not run this one. So I have another uh, pod dot YML. In this, I have something called as uh, tolerations. Okay. So in this, as you can see, so whatever it was there in the taint, uh, as you can see here, when I did kubectl, describe 
uh, node and then when I give uh, Kubernetes hyphen uh, master, this is my node name. I'm just giving that. As you can see here now, uh, there were like there was one taint, right? So that taint name, the key and uh, the effect, so which I'm using here on my pod YML. So now, so I'll be able to make sure the pod will be deployed on um, master node. Okay, and also like. <clears throat> and also like here so this pod can go on to any uh, node because i am not specified on no what which node it should be scheduled so that's why i have something like node selector also added here so node selector make sure it will be deployed on master node kubernetes master and this toleration will be applied on that particular pod and for by which like our master node allow this pod to be created Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's uh, uh, create this particular pod. Uh, kubectl apply iPhone f and pod.yml. When I do this one, so uh, the nginx pod has been created. When I do kubectl get all iPhone o wide. So as you can see now, uh, um, my particular pod is deployed on Kubernetes master. Okay, so if you want to create any pod onto your master node, it is possible. So you need to use a concept called less taint and toleration with a combination of uh, uh, node affinity and node selector. This is how you will be able to uh, create a pod on uh, master. So yeah, so that's all for this video. So if you like the video, please uh, like and share the video. Thank you. Have a good day.